I think about his great big smile. I think about his wonderful dimples. <laughs> he never liked them, but whenever I think of him, that's what lights me up. For the first time in her life, Monica Tomasello will spend the holidays without her 19-year-old son, Logan. The freshman at UW-Milwaukee died suddenly Halloween night off campus at his sister's east side apartment. He just said, I got to sit down. Then just literally collapsed and she kind of caught him and lowered him to the floor and he was unresponsive. She says paramedics gave him three rounds of Narcan, but Logan never woke up. She knew her son vaped THC and believes he was doing it that night. Do you think that he died because he vaped? I do, uh, and the reason being, um, a few weeks before he had passed away, I sent him the article about the, the brothers that were caught in Kenosha County, mm -hmm. and I told him, look, people don't know what are in these THC cartridges. I knew he did this, and we fought about it, and we argued about it, but at that point, I'm like, I gotta let it go and let him figure it out. Um, so his response to me was, um, I'm okay, mom. I know how to look for tampered cartridges. So far in Wisconsin, there have been zero vaping related deaths. The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office tells us that toxicology results for Logan aren't back yet. And right now they're investigating his death as an overdose. Did he do any other street drugs? You know, no. What else could bring down a healthy 19 year old in an instant? But as this grieving mom waits for closure, she hopes to warn other parents of the dangers. Use my son's death as an example, because that's what I would have done. Make sure they quit this immediately. I would not want another family to go through what we've been going through. In Milwaukee, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. Now, Milwaukee police tell 12 News this case remains an ongoing death investigation. Logan's mom says the state crime lab is testing the THC cartridge found on Logan when he died.